Here we have a differential equation dw dt equals 1 over 25 w minus 300. And we have initial condition w naught equals 1400. And we are asked to find the particular solution given this initial condition right here. The first step always is to separate your variables. The only way to separate your variables here would be to divide both sides by W minus 300. Keep in mind that if we were to distribute the 1 over 25 as many often want to do, we would have 1 over 25 W minus 12 since negative 300 over 25 is negative 12. This is not going to help us solve anything, mainly because if we try to separate our variables now by multiplying by dt, I would also have to multiply my w term by dt. And that is absolutely not what we want to do here. We don't want to have a dt next to w. We want to have dw next to w. And so, that is absolutely not going to help us solve this problem. So we'll divide both sides by w minus 300. And we get 1 over w minus 300 dw is equal to 1 over 25 dt. You want to have your constant on the right hand side with your independent variable. Keep in mind that you always want to do that. Now. Let's take the integral of both sides. We've got the integral of 1 over w minus 300 dw and the integral of 1 over 25 dt. The antiderivative of 1 over w minus 300 is the natural log of the absolute value of w minus 300. And the antiderivative of 1 over 25 is 1 over 25t plus c. Keep in mind that there was a plus c in our w antiderivative. However, we subtracted it on the right hand side without even knowing it, and we came up with a different c altogether on the right hand side. Just know that you always want to have your c on the right hand side with your independent variables. Now our goal is to solve for w. To do this, we want to get rid of the natural log, which we can do by raising both sides to the power of e. So here we have e to the natural log of the absolute value of w minus 300 is equal to e to the 1 over 25t plus c. And the plus c is also in the exponent of e. Now on the left hand side, the e and the natural log cancel out and we're left with the absolute value of w minus 300. And on the right hand side, we can do a really cool trick. Anytime you have a c in the exponent, you can use one of your properties of exponents to get it out of there. And the property that we're going to use is, if you add in the exponent, you can break apart the base. This is e to the 1 over 25t times e to the c. In algebra, you learn that if you multiply a common base, you add the exponents, yielding this up here. Likewise, you can go backwards as well. Now, e is just some number. It's 2.71 blah blah blah. We have some number raised to some constant c that's just an entirely new constant, c, which is the really awesome thing. So here we have the absolute value of w minus 300 is equal to c times e to the 1 over 25t. It's at this point that we're going to solve for c. Our initial condition says that w naught is equal to 1400. Well, let's plug 1400 into W and 0 into T. We have the absolute value of 1400 minus 300 is equal to C E to the 0. 
e to the zero is one times c is c, 1400 minus 300 is 1100. So that gives us that c is equal to 1100. I can now plug this into my equation. So we have the absolute value of w minus 300 is equal to 1100 e to the one over 25 t. Now, this absolute value right here means that the right-hand side always has to be positive. That's why it's here. However, our right-hand side does always have to be positive. And here's a little trick for the future. E to the stuff is always going to be positive. Always. If you plug in a negative number, that's 1 over E to the stuff. If you plug in 0, that's 1. If you plug in a pause number, that's E to the stuff. It's always going to be positive. The only thing that could have ever made this right-hand side negative is our value of C. However, C is also positive, which means that these absolute value marks right here, completely redundant. We don't need them. So here we have W minus 300 is equal to 1100 E to the 1 over 25 T. And we can solve for W by adding 300 to both sides, yielding the particular solution to this differential equation, W of T equals 300 plus 1100 E to the 1 over 25 T. And that right here is the particular solution to this differential equation.